Number one on the list under public comments is John Moreno under public comments. Good evening, board, trustees, administration, members of the audience. My name is John Moreno, city councilman, school administrator, proud parent in the district, and voice of the Bulldogs. I will try to remove the emotion regarding the Bulldog Aquatic Center at the old Calexico Municipal Pool site. When we talk about the names of athletic facilities on the confines of Calexico High School, we talk about Willis Ward Field, Elmer Belcher Field, Carl Varner Gym, Linda Godfrey Gym, named after people who were directly involved in Calexico High School athletics. Ward was a football player who died as a result of an injury after a game. Belcher and Godfrey were teachers and coaches who were instrumental in building the lives of young men and women on and off the playing field. And Varner was a superintendent who was instrumental in the construction of a new gymnasium on campus. All were given credit because of their contributions to the people and programs they helped establish. We've been having a somewhat sensitive dialogue on what to name the swimming pool. A consideration of the contributions that the late Margarita de Necochea was given and how she was a voice for the community and the many students she helped along the way to further their education and goals and the monies she secured to refurbish the Carnegie Library and that her deeds shouldn't go unnoticed. But in the realm of athletics, she was not as involved. And let me preface this by saying that the, the Necochea Padilla and the Moreno Carrillo families have been friends for over 80 years. Margarita de Necochea was a community activist who led by example and pushed many of us to get involved and to stand up for what we believed in. I believed in her and supported her causes for many years. I worked alongside her when there was discussion of demolishing the Carnegie Library in the 1990s. I stood with her in support of the preservation of this historic building. My opinion is this. There were others in the community who were coaches, teachers, and parents, and who were never considered for the pool naming. And I, should, and I feel we should give credit where credit is due. Many of them volunteered hours so programs at the swimming pool could flourish and become competitive. The Remingtons, especially Tom Remington, and coaches Mike Fearson and Nick Servine were fixtures at the pool. Another very involved family were the Alvarados. Debbie and the late Francis Alvarado spent many a summer supporting the program and the students and the kids of the community. And with, of course, Ray Alvarado, who spent over 35 years as a coach, football, basketball, baseball, tennis, and other sports. He was a teacher, an athletic director, an administrator, and CIF representative for the glory of Calexico High School. These people are just as deserving of having some consideration. I'm almost finished. But no one has brought their names forward. And in the tradition of Willis Ward, there was a David Navarro, an eight-year-old boy who drowned in the pool in the early 1960s. Yet his family was never mentioned having a lasting tribute in his honor. I have been accused of being callous and abrasive in this ordeal. But like many people in this room, my roots run deep in Calexico and in addition, my family has been involved in business, education, and politics for many years. And we've always been big cheerleaders for what Calexico is, was, and will be. Mayor June Kim is in favor of naming the pool after Mrs. D, but he was always in opposition to the construction of this pool from the get-go. He did not want to see this development, and now he's showing his support. Norma Aguilar, former board member, I believe jumped the gun when she made promises to name the pool, and she has no authority. Dan Romero, former councilman, has no authority. Mayor June Kim has no authority. I have no authority. A committee should have been formed to come up with possible names. A disservice was done to the Denecochea family by leading them to believe this pool was to be named in, after their dear departed mother without a healthy dialogue from all stakeholders. Only this Board of Trustees has the authority to name that pool, and I ask the Board to take action or provide direction. Finally, I think 
we should name the Carnegie Library in honor of Margarita, and that would be the most fitting tribute to her work in this community. Thank you for your consideration. Thank you, Mr. Moreno.